the psyche of military rule has actually affected the advancement of policing. Mm. You know, we were under the military rule for long, where the policing were pushed to the back. And then all of a sudden we came back to democracy and they were pushed, the police were pushed to the forefront. But the only thing they could understand is the force which they learned under, you know. <laughs> but we are changing the narrative. When last have you had the police killed because of 20 naira or 15 naira? What is that telling you is that we are doing internal workings and settings to ensure that the police, our policemen turn out good. And part of it is also this initiative of police and youth security concept. Mm. Daya, yes, sir. what do you expect? You've said what you expect. I mean, beyond this now, this is 2018. <coughs> yeah. What do you hope to see after now? Okay, so I hope to see Nigeria taking charge. Now, I'll give you a quick example of what I mean. If you're in the US or in the UK, if you make phone calls to a customer care, of the telecoms companies, for example, they pick your phone calls in India. And why is that? They have the population, and labor is cheap, and they have the skills. And more importantly, there is trust. Nigeria is losing a lot in that environment because we have the same set of skills, we have the population, we are at a better time zone to Europe than India is. We speak a better and clearer English so I think that this is something we can do. The only thing that has been stopping us, many companies like ours that have been trying to get deals like this to outsource things to Nigerians and work remotely and, and make some money, the only problem is they are asking us, why should we trust Nigeria with our data? Mm -hmm. So a security concert like this goes viral, goes online, and they see that we are doing something about it that can help Nigerian companies to gain more business internationally. You know, so, at the end of the day, if we do this right, then our economy will improve for the better. We will have our oil and we will also have some vibranium. <laughs> uh, <laughs> vibranium twice now. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Dolapo, the problem, my problem is will this be, of course, this is, uh, should we say this is the, um, this is the maiden one, so therefore it's a, tr it's a try, it's a trial. Um, should this turn out to be successful, is it going to be sustained? Well, um, we have the hand in sight before we started. Uh, we know it's going to be successful, and then we are sure that it's going to be sustained. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it's, going to, it's going to be a mega one. We are trying with the first one, but we are rest assured. We, with everything we have on ground right now, we know it's going to be you know, successful. And I must thank the leadership of the Nigerian police force for giving me opportunity, you know, to bring this out. And uh, the AIG in charge of Zuntu, uh, AIG Adamu Ibrahim, charged us this year and said, all of you head of department, bring on table something that will advance the cause of policing in Zone 2. And that's how we came about this. And we, we you know, discussed it with the Inspector General of Police and he gave express permission for it to be done. So. What this is saying in essence is that the leadership is supporting it. By the time we achieve this one, I know more partners, partners will come on board and then we were able to sustain it. But it's a legacy that mm -hmm. I'm sure. We'll make, it, make it bigger. Bigger, mm -hmm. broader. Yes. So I it's happening it's... at Unilag uh, on March 20th. What time? It's starting from 8 a.m. The okay. accreditation starts from 8 a.m. Okay, so, so how many hours do you envisage? Yeah, it'll we take? want to we want to stop by four. We pray we should be we will be able to stop by four because when it comes to concerts, you don't actually know when it's going to end. Mm. But we have timing of eight a.m. to four p.m. Mm. So Tuesday, eight a.m. accreditation opens at um, Unilag for this concert. And if you're interested in taking part, please go to www. Extra.org to register. You have to register. Mm -hmm. Is there registration on ground or is there's a registration online? No, but on ground. That yes, day. on ground we continue the registration. That's why yes. we have accreditation. So so the data online will be made available. Yes. You know, at the venue. 
just to you know cross, cross the T's and yeah. Like you know, this is a security elections. concert. You know, mm -hmm. the police wants to make sure that you know if you say you are A, you are A, and mm -hmm. you know to keep everybody so safe. So you come with your ID card just to confirm. Well, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't really matter. matter. You have to come with just ID card. Let us be able to account for what yes. it is that we have online. Yes. And should some people show up on that day, we should be able to you know account for Get them, them as well. Get them accounted. Yes. Mm. Okay, okay, so all we can do now is just wish you good luck with this great initiative. Uh, we have been receiving some tweets about it and people are saying, oh, fan fantastic initiative. It is time the police got closer to young people who don't trust them. So this is a fantastic idea. Yes, so good luck on Tuesday. Thank you very much, Ant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Dolak uh, Zonal Police PRO, as well as Dayo Adesoya, cybersecurity expert. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming to talk to us about this wonderful initiative. It's we wish you all the best. Thank you. Sunrise will return in just a moment with another interesting conversation. Mm.